your local news leader. There are two kinds of people. The ones who like to make friends on a plane and those who don't. You know, they put on headphones and fall asleep kind. Yeah, they do. Well, there's a woman in Urbana who is definitely in the first category, but she had no idea the connection she made three decades ago would change lives. WCI3's Jennifer Roscoe is here. Now, you told me Jody Wilkie likes to talk. She really does. <laughs> I think I asked one question and then she talked for 20 minutes. She is the epitome of never met a stranger. She is so friendly and kind to everyone. But this time, she has outdone herself. My story starts on a plane to Spain and ends with her being an angel among us. <laughs> Five years ago, Jody Wilkie was packing a suitcase for a trip of a lifetime. Just exactly one month after my 20th birthday, I had never been on a plane before and I had saved money for five years. She was flying to Spain, filling a journal with every little detail. Journals she's kept. There's this cute girl who keeps smiling at me like she feels sorry for me or something. The teenager wanted to borrow paper. So the girl across the aisle wrote me a note, and now we're passing it back and forth. I'm thrilled. Her name is Carrie Keelblock, and she's from Jackson, Minnesota. The note writing went on for hours until they landed. We finally get to actually hug and say, oh, hi. You know, it's so nice to meet you. And she introduced me to her parents, who are the cutest people. Wilkie actually ended up spending the day with the Keelblocks. Jody and Carrie kept in touch a few years after that, but eventually lost contact. She got married, and I got married, and we didn't know each other's last, new last names. Oh, Spain is amazing. Oh, there's me. But Wilkie never forgot her dream trip and her friend from the plane. Last summer, she wrote about it on Facebook. I thought, I should look for her and see if she's on here and tag her in this post. Carrie Keelblock, now Huseth, did see that post. And the two started writing again, just like all those years ago up in the sky. Messages led to phone calls, until one that changed everything. I don't even remember how it came up, but she started talking about her health issues. You see, Huseth was dying. She needed a liver transplant, and a living donor was her best hope. I said, I want help. What can I do? When you were talking to her on the phone, and she said, I'll give you my liver, what was your reaction? You lost your <laughs> mind. <laughs> That's pretty much what she said. Wilkie was ready to pack her bags again. I love her and I don't want her to die. If this is what I have to do, then okay. I never felt so sure about anything in my life. The two long lost friends were reunited during their final testing at the Mayo Clinic. Wilkie was a perfect match and surgery was a go. I'm gonna have more time with my 16 grand babies and my husband. Because my 16th grandson was just born. Um, like two weeks ago, right? Yeah. She's got a lot to live for. A lot. So, yeah. Just felt like the right thing to do. 35 years, Jody. I know. It's crazy. Five years. What the hell are you doing popping up in my life again? <laughs> it's because God wanted it this way. It's just amazing. I know it. The coolest story ever. Coolest ever. Now, that last picture was taken after surgery. So, yes, surgery was successful. Both women are doing just fine. And Wilkie wants to make sure more people know about being a living donor because she didn't know anything about it until Huseth told her. So go to our website, WCIA.com, and there's a link if you want to read more.